I don't know about you, but I prefer to keep my bees in the hive, if at all possible. I don't want my bees in the trees. I don't want them in the neighbor's house. I don't want them in some random swarm trap somewhere. I want to keep my bees. You see, the secret of making a lot of honey in a hive is a lot of bees. Duh. Okay, <laughs> stick to the end and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about here. Now, you're coming out of winter. Your hive looks probably something like this, I'm guessing. You probably have a couple deeps on there, depending on your configuration, uh, coming out of winter. Now, the Demeray, Demeray, whichever way you want to pronounce it, method is depends on a lot of bees. So this hive has got to be full. You want to do this probably when the, the flow is just getting ready to start or even after the flow has started but before your hive has a chance to swarm. You do this too early in this season, there won't be enough bees to make this effective. Uh, will it work? Yeah, yeah, but it's just not as effective in making more honey if you don't uh, get the timing right. So if you start to see queen cells in your brew box, uncapped queen cells, if they're capped, they've probably have swarmed already. Uh, there's not much you can do about that. Anyway, if you start to see queen cells in here, it's time to act now. So here's what we do. Let's do some manipulation here. You take your brood box that you have here. Uh, find another base. Uh, put it over there, or in my case, I've got a rack system. I just slide it, the, whole, the whole entire hive over. Put down a new baseboard there. Take an empty hive, maybe with some drawn comb in there, preferably with drawn comb, and you put it in its place on that stand. The next thing you need to do is you need to go through this hive here looking for the queen. You need to look at every single one of these looking for the queen. This is very vital to this process. You got to find the queen. Not there either. Where is she? She's hiding. In a very busy box, which this should be, they can be difficult to spot. If you have your queens marked, all the better. Here she is, right here. I see her. She just crawled over the top of here. She's right there. See her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, she goes in the middle of this new brood box. So you've got a bunch of drawn comb in here. Um, if you have some empty frames, that's fine too. The flow has already started, so they will fill out those foundations if you need them. The drawn comb is always the best. Finish filling that box out. And don't forget to add pollen, maybe a little bit of honey stores to this box as well. The bees in this box still have to survive and you still want that queen to be prolific and making new brood. Now, the queen is in here. You've checked that frame for no additional um, queen cells, that's important. So before you finish this box, the queen should be in here. You should have a little bit of brood. You should have had, you should have some stores in there. And all of these frames, 100%, should have been gone through. There are no queen cells here. If you forget a queen cell, guess what? Your hive's gonna swarm. And that's what we're kind of trying to prevent here. What you need is next is your queen excluder here. I know not everyone cares for these, but in this case it's kind of important. we we'll put that on top. So whether you have a single brood box or two brood boxes, put that queen excluder on there. Now since the flow has is just about ready to start or has already started, you of course are gonna put your honey supers right there on top. 
give them a place to store that honey. And then you take your original brood box. This is original brood box. It still has a lot of brood in, the, in here and a lot of nurse bees in here. And you know what? If there are any worker bees still there, they will come out the, the normal entrance and uh, work in the original brood box. So after a day or so, the only thing is up here is brood and nurse bees in the upper box. Now, this it's critical again, I, I know I say that word a lot, but to take a look at every single frame here looking for queen cells. You gotta look at them they will hide these queen cells. Now this is supposed to be a busy box or we would not have started that. So the clusters easily hide queen cells. So what I like to do is to take each frame, knock off the bees. Now whatever method you want to use to do that, that's fine. But you need to thoroughly go through those frames. And then finish filling out the box, of course with additional frames. Now this top box here, you're gonna to have to come back to. Because there's brood in there and there's nurse bees in there and they're far enough away from the queen bee is they will try to make a new queen up here. So you will have to go back periodically and verify that all cells are knocked down, taken out. Now after the 10 day point, you should be good to go. You shouldn't have to worry about it anymore after that. But until then, you need to make sure all queen cells are removed from here. Now what will happen is these bees will hatch out and become nurse bees. They'll come down here to the brood that the queen's been laying down here and help take care of that. So this box after, let's call it a month, that, that's excessive, but just for the sake of a, a time frame, uh, 20 days to a month. This box here should be empty here. What they're going to do is they're going to backfill this with honey. Now, if you don't mind spinning out deeps, that's that's perfectly fine. I, I have done that. They will fill this with honey. I'm getting, you should say, a few years under my belt. It's not so easy lifting that deep from way up here. That's not fun at all. Um, they are heavy. So what I'll do, like this year, is once the brood is out of here, that box goes away. And what I'll probably do is add another honey super on here as well as at that time. Ideally, if they're doing well, I'll add another honey super to here. I may even take that box and make a second brood box down below. Anything but lifting that massive uh, deep that's way up top that's full of honey. If you're a couple years younger than me, uh, that's fine. A deep makes a lot of honey. So in short, that's the way I do the Demaray split. Stay tuned for more tips, please subscribe, and have a fantastic day.